Have you ever had the issue of not being able to find a frame the right size for your picture? We're going to solve that problem right now. Hi everyone, welcome to Hampton Your House. My name is Belle and my channel is all about bringing the coastal Hamptons vibe to your house with lots of DIY projects, tips and tricks. I would love to have you join the fun. Just click the subscribe button and the notification bell and then you won't miss out on anything new. So I think at some point we've probably all had the issue of wanting to frame a picture and we just can't find a frame that fits the picture exactly. You can definitely get it framed professionally, but for those of us needing something on a small budget that might not be a viable option or maybe you already have a frame that's so close to fitting your picture but it's too long on the edges or too tall for your picture well today I'm going to show you how to resize a frame so it fits your picture exactly no more weird gaps on the edges of a frame and you can finally get those gorgeous works of art up onto your wall Grab yourself a frame that is as close as you can find to fitting your picture. This one's from Ikea, but you could also grab a bargain frame from an op shop which might help you to achieve a more unique look. Open the frame up and check to see how the picture will fit. Today I'm framing this awesome travel scratch map. This map ended up being a bit small for the frame in both directions, so I'll be cutting two edges of the frame to get the right size. If you can, try and get a frame that only needs resizing in one direction to make it easier. Get the exact measurements of your picture and write them down so you don't forget. Flip your frame over and if your picture is sitting nice and flat, you can use it as a guide to draw where you will need to cut the frame to size. Now ideally you'd have a set square you could use to draw a perfect 45 degree angle on your frame, but if you don't, you can make one out of a piece of paper or thin card like this. Just make sure you fold it very accurately. After you've marked out where your picture needs to go, line up the triangle with the end of your mark and draw the angle out from there. Use a saw to cut your frame, keeping it perfectly straight. If your frame pieces fit into a mitre box, this would be ideal for getting the most accurate cut. Unfortunately, mine wouldn't fit. When you're close to cutting through, you may want to swap to a Stanley knife to make a clean cut so you won't have any jagged edges showing on the front of the frame. Once you have half your frame cut to the right size, you can use it as a template to cut the other side of the frame. Just make sure you double check the angle and the measurements. Check to see if your frame ends match up. You might need to sand them down slightly with a sanding block to get them perfectly flat. Make sure you've wiped away all of the dust really well, then grab some super glue or E6000 and glue your frame back together. Next, grab a staple gun and put a line of staples down the join. You can buy these from a hardware shop for around $16. If any of the gaps in your frame look too big or uneven, grab some putty that matches your frame colour and fill them in. You may want to touch it up with some paint as well. Check the new size of your frame on every edge so that you can cut the plexiglass and backing to fit exactly.
can use a whiteboard marker to trace the size onto your plexiglass. If you have real glass, you could ask a glazier to cut it to size for you. Give your glass a quick clean once it's in place to remove any marks, then pop your pitcher and backing on. Only do up a few of the backing holders, then flip the frame over to make sure everything looks good. When you're happy, do up the rest, give the front of your glass a clean and hang up your picture. Taking it from this, to this. It's so nice to be able to get our awesome map up on the wall. I'm so excited to have found a solution to this problem that has bugged me with many pictures over the years. And I really hope it helps you to solve some of your artwork framing problems too. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I would love to have you back again, so please consider subscribing and check out some of my other videos. Thanks so much for stopping by. All the very best with your picture framing projects. Let me know how you go. And I'll see you again very soon in my next video. Bye guys.